Equipment inventory list. That's what we're going to talk about. So if you're in charge of a lot of equipment, whether it's IT equipment, camera, sound, lighting, drones, it doesn't matter. And if you don't have a comprehensive list just yet, then this is the video to watch. I'm Osvaldo from Checkroom and I'm going to show you how you can easily create an equipment inventory list and I'm going to walk you through all the different columns of information that you definitely don't want to miss when creating your own list. And make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to show you a magic trick that's going to change your life forever when it comes to equipment inventory lists. But let's start from the beginning. I will open a Google spreadsheet, but you can work with Microsoft Excel or Numbers as well. Now you can just create a new document. I already prepared one for you. It's called Checkroom Equipment Inventory. Let's open it. Okay, here you can see the full list of our equipment inventory to start with. The first reason why it's so important to have a very good equipment inventory list is to have a full overview of all of your equipment. And secondly, it's very useful for auditing and insurance purposes. And it also helps you prioritize which equipment to buy next. Let's say, for example, that you see that all of the laptops in your company are already eight years old. Then you might want to think about replacing them first. Okay, now let's start building the spreadsheet so you can start working with it. First, we need to make clear what equipment we have. But instead of creating just one column, I would recommend making several columns like uh, name, brand and model. I will tell you a bit later why it is really beneficial to have the three, but now let's move on. This is the part where it gets interesting. If you have more equipment than in our example, and you have different categories of items such as laptops, phones, cameras, then you definitely want to add a category column. This makes it very easy to search for some items with the filter option. So let's say we want to search all the laptops that we have, then I just turn the filters on and here only check the laptop category like this here. And also, since you have the brand and the model, you can just filter on, let's say all the MacBook Pros or you want to see what equipment you have from Sony. Let's now also create a column for the purchase price and date. I will also add a warranty date to have accurate lists of equipment that are still or no longer under warranty. We at Checkroom also really recommend that you use barcodes when managing your equipment. Because let's say your company has 40 IMAX and then you're moving from one office to another. Since they all look the same, no one will know which computer was theirs. But with asset tags, you can just scan the code and see straight away which computer belongs to whom. Therefore, if you're using barcodes, then also make a column for that in your spreadsheet. Then for sure, if you have several locations where your equipment is, add a column for the location. Also very easy to get separate lists of your equipment in a specific location when you use the filter function. And lastly, I will add a column for description because some items might require some extra information. For example, if you have different cameras and lenses, you can write down all the technical details that your creatives might need to know before using the lens. Okay, now we have our spreadsheet, but imagine having a growing inventory and having to look at this spreadsheet every day. I can tell you, it will get messy very soon. Or imagine working with freelancers or students to whom you don't really want to give access to all of it. Also, we only have the basic information here, but you cannot really see who has the equipment or how much your equipment is worth, given that it has already been in use. But what if we could do this? Ready? This is what this equipment inventory list looks like in a professional equipment management system. It automatically generates pictures of all your equipment, calculates the depreciation, shows you the history of the equipment, gives you reports, and shows you who reserved the equipment or who has the equipment now. If you want to try this out, then just go to checkroom.com and start your free trial. If you want to know more tips and tricks about equipment management from beginner to pro, then subscribe to the channel and watch those videos too. Bye. It was okay, huh? It wasn't. It wasn't that hard.